Hey guys, I got caught off guard with the the rain and the thunderstorm. Hello, hello, hello. I came on a little bit early. You hear that? Isn't that amazing? Anyway, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey Lloyd, how you doing? Um, welcome guys to the Less D Experience Interactive. That means you guys get to interact and talk, express your opinions and your experiences with moi. Yes, interactive talk show. Hey, Sparkle, how you doing? But I came on just a little bit early, you know, just to, um, first of all, thank everybody for their well wishes, because uh, I had to cancel the show on Thursday because I was sick as a dog and a cat. Yes. And oh, hey, Greg. And I was not going to come over here up on there looking crazy with swollen faces and hacking and yakking. You know, so um, I'm learning how to take care of me a little bit better. Yes, I won't end up back at Sparkle's job. She know what I'm talking about <laughs> in the healthcare facility. So uh, I want to thank you guys for those who sent texts and DMs and um, messages on Facebook and things like that and who called. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers and your well wishes. I appreciate it. Yes. Hey, Terry Holmes. That's my sister, y'all. Stay on here, Terry. You ain't got nothing to do. One day I'm going to try to get her like live on here so you can see that she's interested. <laughs> so um, what we're going to be discussing today, if the lightning don't zap everything and turn everything off, is um, first of all, I got to tell you guys what happened. You know, what I don't understand and you guys can chime in at any time, hi Otis, is why people find it necessary to put their mouths on other people. Now, let me explain what I mean. The world we live in, everything is derogatory, negative, just, just, just people are mean and hateful and just, just unnecessarily just, just crazy unnecessarily so you know but just because we're living in a crazy time it doesn't mean we personally have to act like everybody else is acting you know I, I'm always I am the queen of minding my own freaking business I don't care what's going on who is going on with I try to mind my business I'm kind of failing with my kids kind of you know but everybody else I mind my business and what's interesting to me is uh, one of you guys one of the people that watches the show or do whatever placed a photo you know placed me um in some kind of group thing you know you know and i about beautiful people nice people i don't know what kind of group it is and i said okay and then they posted the picture of me and they wanted to know your age and a little quick something about you. So the picture he posted is the picture I put on the announcement, um, you know, with me laying on the couch with like light brown contacts in my eyes or whatever, and my hair blown out with a blow dryer. Lip gloss, that's it, contacts and lip gloss. So I'm laying on the couch and I'm, I took a headshot, not boobies, not body, nothing crazy. And so I get a notification because the guy who put me in there, Everybody was commenting under his name. And so I, he was my Facebook friend, so I got the notification. We all know how that works. Um, then I got another notification, and people were like, oh, I like it. It's the only thing I wrote on mine. People was writing their ages and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I just put 49 years old grandmother. I think put grandmother of three or something like that. And I just went on with life. I was just being obedient and just did and went on with life. Child. Let me tell you something. Now, I have to be very careful in how I say this, you know, because I don't want to be one of those people that we're about to talk about, okay? But I got this uh, notification from a person. Well, they didn't notify me. It was under the picture. And mind you, I was number 92, you know, under here. So it was 91 other people who placed their photos. It was men, women from 16 to 80, posting photos and things like that and, and their ages. Anyway. And so the person was, 
in other words, paraphrase it, because I, I still don't want to put the person out because that's not who I am. But they were like, hey, Nadine and Rodney and Jennifer and Karen. Hey, how you doing? And um, they basically was calling me a liar. <laughs> and they were saying, your face is photoshopped. You're, you're not 49. That's not who you really are. You up here lying and faking and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, me? <laughs> And so I like read it. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I, I I read it like four times. I'm like, okay. And usually you guys would be surprised of the crazy stuff that gets said to me, done to me on a daily basis, and I don't respond, right? But in, in the forum and the way they said it, and I paraphrased it, it really wasn't nice at all. And so I went to her page to see like, who is this? Do I know this person? What did I do? And when I when I looked at, you know, and I was like, okay, whatever, <laughs> you know. And so I showed my son, my younger son, and you know, a lot of things I don't know, especially come to the social media stuff or whatever. And he was like, well, mom, why did you even respond to that? No, I said, I said, uh, first of all, that's not true. Hey, Karen. Uh, I said, what you're looking at is decades of not smoking, not drinking, treating people right, and God. And so I sent a picture myself, because the other person posted the other thing, with me out the shower. Then I sent one of these videos, shameless plug, shameless plug. <laughs> then I sent one of these videos so the person, hey, Jack, could... You can't Photoshop a video, especially my grainy, jacked up, cheap little laptop. Sorry, oh, but I mean, it doesn't have the specs of, you know, HD and all that stuff. And so I didn't, and so some other things went on. Went on. And so I refused to respond any further. But I stopped because my son was like, mom, why are you even dignifying that with a response? When have you started responding to people? But I did that because that was a teaching moment. Sometimes we have to stop and recognize teaching moments. I was letting what I thought was a young lady know that if you conduct yourself a certain way throughout your life, and most importantly, treat people with respect and dignity and just try to be an all around good person, you know, the years don't have to show on your face. You know, sometimes we can't control what goes on with our body. I'm a witness to that, you know. But, you know, it, you can look a certain way by the choices you make. And so when my son Darius looked at what was going on, he's like, Mom, that's not a girl. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, that's not a girl. And so he took me through some things, and he took me to the person's page, and he went back, and he did everything he did. And then I saw them without their makeup and a, a wig and all that stuff. And it was a guy. I have never experienced or have any contact with a transgender person at all. I, I, I haven't. But even after I found out, you know, what he, that she was a he and, and whatever else and all the other stuff I found out and, and looked at, it still was not in my spirit to be derogatory, negative, or anything. And I'm so glad that I took the opportunity to impart um, what I did initially, which was, you know, decades of not drink, because I, I never drank, I, don't, I never smoked or anything like that. And just, and I kept emphasizing treating people right being kind to people, living your life so that you don't have to reap nothing. And a lot of people don't believe in God and church. So some people say karma's a bleep or stuff will come back to bite you in the bleep or however you like to do it. What you do have consequences. The decisions you make have consequences. The way you behave have consequences, which brings me back to this. Somebody please tell me why we as adults, not middle schoolers, not high schoolers, not even freaking college students, but full grown adults, 
find it necessary to tear down. Be negative. Say something crazy. Celebrities do it. I don't know what's going on with the celebrities. It's no cooth, no class, no tact, no nothing. They got the wars and, and beefs all over the place. And we're sitting back looking like they acting like the people from the hood. They acting like all the millions and billions of dollars and you still crazy. You still ignorant. You still immature. You still petty. You know, so my question is, hi, Dr. Raim. Oh, Otis is saying, I'm sorry, I need to look over here. Hey, Dale. Hey, Tammy. How you doing? Otis saying you took the high road, which is a testament to your character. Thank you, Otis. But it never even occurred to me to be negative because I thought I was looking at a fellow sister. And so the lady that posted her picture under me was like, you know, I said, hey, Diva, you look gorgeous. She said, you the too gorgeous. And, I, you know, and I said, see, we need to be examples for the young lady above us. You know, all these reality shows, all this, I don't watch them. So I don't know who, what, what names of who, but the reality genre, I feel, and I know I'm going to get bashed for this. I feel it's a disgrace. It does not properly convey or demonstrate or show true black women, our interactions with each other. And I, you know, of course you, you get people that do this and do that. I'm not talking about that. But overall, we're not constantly cussing each other out, acting crazy, blah, blah, blah. We don't do that. You know, I, 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 I just have an issue with our self-image when it comes to, you know, us, <laughs> you know. But back to what I was saying about trolls in general, I don't understand. If I like the haircut that you have on, let's say you are a female. You'd have shaved your head like real short or bald, but you wearing the thing. You got the right earrings. Your face is beat. You looking one. If you pass me, I'm a good girl. You're working that. Yes. Now, my neck is too short, and I don't have the shoulders and the collarbone and the head, this and this and that, to rock that hairstyle, but she does. What would it kill me to go, you look beautiful? You don't know what nobody's going through. You don't know whether or not her hair is growing back from cancer. You don't know whether or not, you know, something happened to her domestically and she had to shave her head off. We don't know what nobody's going through. And I don't understand why we as adults find it hard to keep our mouths off people. These memes and these things that be circling around the internet, people be taking pictures of people um, with their shoes turned over laughing or they'll put a picture on their page of somebody sitting in an airport or something or they got fat rolls or they're asleep or somebody's retarded or somebody's whatever and they'll say something like caption this what y'all think about this ha ha ki ka ha ha you don't know what's going on with these people what is wrong with us what is wrong with us as a society what is wrong with us as human beings where we find it funny to poke fun at someone's demise or, or, or lack of or not having, it, it disgusts me. And I will not take, hi, Zach, hi, Ty, and I will not take part of it. I, I, I will not. People have sent me stuff, oh, look at this woman and, you know, look at her shoes all turned over. You don't know if she ran out the house in the middle of the night and the only thing she could grab was those shoes because she's running for her life. You. You don't know that. You don't know the story of these people. You don't know what anybody is going through. You don't know if that picture you're circulating around the internet of somebody looking bad, looking fat, looking broke, uh, cockeyed, no teeth, uh, whatever you are laughing at, you don't know if that picture or if they find out that stuff is circulating and people are making fun, thousands and thousands and thousands of comments joking them, how their feet is ashy or how their feet is turned over in their shoes or if a woman has on high heels and she got like meat sticking through the straps and they got all kinds of stuff. Uh, a man at the beach minding his business. People are taking unauthorized pictures of people circulating them around just to get likes just to be recognized, just so somebody can pat them on the back at the expense of others. What are y'all, four, 12? 
we need to stop because guess what i don't hey jackie how you doing baby hey brandon you know we don't know what anybody's going through and i don't have a cock in a fight i don't have a raindrop in the water i i do not i do not pay these people's bills i don't pay their rent i don't pay their mortgage i don't pay their utility bills i don't make them feel good in the midnight hour i don't bring food and put it on the table i have no worth or i'm not pouring anything into these people's lives so how dare i have the audacity to talk about them and tear them down my pastor used to tell me years ago do not look down on the man unless you're picking him up but these days a whole bunch of people looking down on somebody and they just as jacked as themselves you know and i've seen people with their grill missing and things like that their legs rubbing together all kinds of stuff and they got in there to be circulating that kind of stuff about somebody else it's about walmart pics look what i just saw in walmart look what i just saw at the dollar tree <laughs> how is that benefiting you did that make you feel good did you get a mental nut of talking about somebody somebody needs to explain to me something even if even when we're looking at these stars, like the VMAs happened last night, instead of saying the girl that say, oh, Kurt, I don't know her name, uh, whatever, instead of saying, oh, because I was like, who was that? And my son was like, that's the Cardi lady. <laughs> I don't know, you know, I said, oh, she looks pretty. But I guarantee you, and I didn't even look because I don't get down like that. I don't really care. I guarantee you a minimum of 100 people probably found something wrong with what she had on or her hair or her dress or blah, 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 or the way she talks or whatever. Instead of saying, that girl looked good. That hairstyle worked for her. That girl worked her tail off. Whether y'all think she has talent or not, she worked. A lot of people want to pay paycheck and don't want to go to work. A lot of people want to be a rapper, but won't, don't want to take the time to sit down and, and pin their stuff. A lot of people want to be a singer, but they don't want to go from club to club to club and club and be tired, be on the road. This stuff takes work. What you guys are looking at on the VMAs and all this other stuff and the Oscars and the Tonys and everything else, you guys are seeing the end result. You're not seeing the struggle. You are not seeing what it took. You're not seeing the tears. You're not seeing the homelessness. You're not seeing people stealing your mess, stealing your songs, stealing your lyrics. I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt and the drawers of people stealing from me, you know, and things like that. You don't know nobody's struggle, but yet we're so quick to put our mouth on people. I'm not understanding. Somebody explain something to me. Brandon is saying negativity spreads much faster than positivity. Hey, Kevin and David, you got that right. Who else did I miss? I'm sorry, guys. I usually have you guys up in here with your comments. Otis is saying, it occurs to me that most of us love negativity and drama. We heard lots of people say this, and it's true. Misery loves company. I say this to say that the person was or is probably unhappy herself, so that person was making herself feel better by spe spreading drama. My sister Terry is saying, you have a great genes. They <laughs> Ter Terry is saying, you have great genes. They should see our mother haters <laughs> and our sisters. Yeah, I, I just, yes, yeah, Terry, they, they, they think I'm photoshopped. I don't know. I give God the glory. I know y'all ain't churchy, but this is my show. I can say what I want. I give him the glory. I can't even count on two hands and two toes, two feet. <laughs> How many times I've been on my deathbed? How much medication I've taken? You know, I've taken so much medication. I started to take a spoonful of Bragg's vinegar to make sure my liver don't, is still working. <laughs> you know, people don't, they, you guys don't know the physical therapy. I'm still hopping around, uh, you know, wobbling because my leg is still not healed. You know, people don't see that, you know, and I can't control. It seems like my body is just turned on me. So what I can control, I do control. You know what I'm saying? You know, I can control my hair. Thank God. You know, that can fall out from all the treatments from the tumors and 
all that stuff they do or whatever else. So what? If I want my contacts to match whatever I'm wearing or whatever I feel like, I pop them in. I bought them. They're mine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If somebody want to run around in a tutu and their belly is peeking under the tutu, that's their business. Why do you or whomever feel it necessary to put your mouth on people? Now, granted, some things is crazy, some things is ridiculous, some things is shocking, some things are like, oh my gosh, or why is she wearing that, or whatever else. Don't get me wrong, I know we all have our opinions, and we're like, whoo, but my thing is this, why put your mouth on them? Why go to that person to tell them, oh, your hair is jacked, honey, you need to find another hairdresser. Why? Why? Jack is saying we have lost the art of civility. Civility, please and thank you are gone. <laughs> and excuse me is on the way out. Don't forget customer services. I know here in Newport News, Virginia, I just, please, you know, it, it just, it bothers me. It, it, I, I don't understand it. People, are, and let me deal with family members. And Terry, you know I'm not lying. Do y'all have people in y'all family instead of going, hey, how you doing, Johnny? Nice to see you. How's everything? They'll go, God, you didn't got big. Mind you, they haven't seen you 10, 15, 20 years, three years, four years. It's been some years that they have not checked on you, have not called you or anything. So instead of just saying, hi, it is great to see you today. Instead of saying that, God, mm. Girl, you're as big as your mama. <laughs> like, wow, hi, how you doing? You good? You good? I, I just don't understand it. I mean, coworkers, I just, and people feel like they can walk up to you and say anything they want. But if you respond accordingly, what's wrong with her? She crazy. She just popped off and nothing. You know, let me tell y'all something. If I react and let my character be molded according to what people have said to me, done to me, how people have lied, outright lied. Sometimes I can understand sometimes. Well, I don't understand a liar. But I can see if somebody, you know, like say, oh, if I say orange, and they go and say, like, let's say orange, apples, and blah, 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 blah. You can understand, like, okay. But you have people who make up their own complete lie, then spread it. Then you got the, oh, no name called Leslie. Then you got the people who believe it, don't ask you nothing. Don't give you the benefit of the doubt. Don't go, hey, I know less. You know, for instance, Terry knows. If, if Terry hears that her sister Les was walking around naked on the beach, if, if she ain't crazy, she'll go, oh, that's a lie. Let's don't get naked for nobody. <laughs> so instead of people, that was just an exaggerated analogy. But instead of you thinking like, okay, I know this person. Is that that person's character? Is that that person was, instead of using your common sense or thinking about it, or even if you might believe it, asking somebody. I, I just don't understand it. You know, I, and one of the questions I really want to ask, Hey, Mark and Sinise and Janice. Hey, Jermaine. Um, one of the questions I want to ask, and it's not rhetorical, I really want an answer. When someone, man, woman, beast, whatever, when someone tears somebody down, talk about how they look or how they sound or they're broke or they this or the that, just being pessimistic, nasty, and mean. What does it do for the individual doing it? Is it like an orgasm or um, they get a rush or I, 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 somebody, what, <laughs> what type of satisfaction does a person who's always carrying a bone, bringing the bone, burying the bone, digging the bones up, you know, always carrying drama or can somebody, hi, Gary, can somebody explain it to me? Because I, I don't understand. You have people on the brink of suicide who have all, who've actually committed suicide, um, who are 
just all jacked up because of somebody's mouth. Somebody to put their mouth on them in a horrible, horrible way. Everybody's not strong mentally. Everybody's not strong emotionally. Everybody's not wired the same way. And another thing, everybody is trying to outdo everybody. Instead of saying, girl, like, because Jondalyn, Jondalyn has a, um, a little live talk show thing she does called Diamond Nuggets uh, with her daughter. So she's basically doing something similar to what I'm doing. I just do raw adult grown-up stuff. But she's on her Facebook page live, I think on Sunday, plug for Jondalyn, um, things like that, her and her daughter. A very cute, you know, Christian-based little talk show. I have gone on there. I don't, sometimes I forget or I get busy, but if I can remember, I'll go on there, show her I'm there. Hey, sweetie, how you doing? You're doing an awesome job. Oh, by the way, you wearing a necklace, girl. You look good. Or I'll go, hey, you know, to her daughter or whatever else. But the common thing that's going on, somebody will be talking about her or this and that because we're doing the same thing or the same type of thing. Y'all, it's enough stuff out there for everybody to eat. It's enough opportunities. If you're not sampling people's music and trying to be original as you can and having your own music, like right now, it's pouring down rain outside. Don't you know I could go on my front porch and in less than five minutes, I got about six beats in my head. Just listen to the raindrops. Hit the fence. Hit the leaves. You see what I'm saying? The way it's bouncing off the chrome of the car. You know, I come up with beats and stuff in my head. So if Brandon is on here and he sent me some awesome stuff, so has um, G-Man, Bass Man, um, some awesome tunes and things like that. Otis um, wrote a book that I illustrated. You know, I didn't go, mm, this trash or this all right or blah, blah, blah. I was not negative. And don't you know, if you're not negative and if you support other people, when you get your stuff going, you're going to be blessed for that or whoever don't like to say blessed, I mean, you're going to get that back. Is that better? You know, so I, I, I just don't understand, you know, and I made a comment today, you know, to my oldest son. I was like, you know, I can solve world peace. I can't. He's like, how, mama? If everybody do about five things, put yourself in somebody else's shoes. Mm -hmm. Have bowels of mercy. Like you can like feel and empathize with somebody, huh? If you just show the kind of love that you would want to have, the kind of forgiveness that you would want to have, and most of all, have open minds. World peace, solve. Wars, gone. He's like, mom, please, that's, that's really simple. But it really is that simple. Shutting up, keeping our mouths off people unless it's something positive. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't understand. I'm going to be around here going, oh, my God, I hate her. She thinks she all that because her stomach flat and her boobs sit up by themselves. She working it. She got it going on. It's her genetics of the gym. Whatever it is, it's not for me. It is not me. I can only be who I am. So why would I be ignorant and childish and self-centered enough to put my mouth negatively on a sister because she's working it? I can work with what I have. I work it and I dress it up best way I can. All of us do not have the same path or destiny. We don't. So why are we hating when somebody get a record deal, get accepted into a, a something? Somebody's children is a scientist and, you know, yours in jail. Oh, okay, well, he could be witnessing and doing some good in that jail. Why are we so jealous and envious and negative, putting our mouths on people? If I see somebody's picture, I, you know, some of y'all can attest to this. I'll, if I, because I don't go on people's, they call me the post and go queen. I post my junk and I go. I don't visit y'all pages, but if it pop up on my line and I see it and you looking good, you wearing that outfit or you wearing that hairstyle, you wearing them earrings or whatever else, you know, I'll go, girl, you look good. Work it, diva. What did that cost me? Nothing. I don't know what that person's going through. I don't know if they're feeling depressed or they don't feel beautiful that day. Me saying, girl, you look wonderful. And guess what? It's more, it, I think I, it carries more weight for another female to tell another female she looks good 
even more so than a man because you know she might have in the back of the mail he just trying to hit or he just trying to get some but if another female tell another female she looked nice she can believe that oh my god i must look nice this must this hairstyle must work for me or this lipstick may work for me or whatever else so try to be friends indeed to one another and anybody who bringing you a whole bunch of crap all the time you best believe they taking your crap out your house to somebody else y'all better wake up and smell the coffee yes i mean i'm sorry i'm just going on sonia said we don't know how to to uplift one another what well, we need to learn that's why i'm doing this today we got so many things against us beloveds we got so many other people places and things <laughs> against us all we have is us and god but on this earth all we have is us <sighs> Let's lift, if somebody else, if somebody gets a brand new car, so what? Just say, you know, I'm loving that car, nice car. Maybe it's not your time. Maybe it's not your time or, or path to have a car. Maybe you're about to get a new house. Even if you're not about to do, get nothing. If you have your health and strength, and trust me, health and strength is more valuable than any block of gold, any fake diamond, any, you know, hundred dollar bills of benjamin man if i can take off right now just take off running down the street in the rain with no pain i would do it you know how i miss balling man i was an awesome point guard oh i'm back but i'm just saying do you know how i miss my cleats how they sounded on the track yes when i hit them hurdles man I had a terrible vertical yes with that baton slapping in my hand and then when you're walking off after the race and them clicks are going Man, if I had my health and my strength, you could have your millions and your trillions, and your Lamborghinis and whatever else. That's for you. I wouldn't be hating. Somebody asked me, and I'm about to go, got three minutes. Somebody asked me, Leslie, with all those talents and skills and blah, 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 you got, why are you still poor? <laughs> what? I tell you, when I say people say anything to me, they say anything to me. You know, because I'm not a cusser outer or a douche or a-hole or whatever else. I tried to be an a-hole one time, but it's just not in me. I had somebody, you know, they were looking at me, I think, cause one I was that way, another I was that way. And they were standing there insulting me, telling me how big I've gotten. And I just looked, who was I with? I forgot who I was with, but whoever was with me, I remember them saying, don't do it. Don't say, don't. I know you got to get super stupid. The stuff that go on my head is just, you know, and I was like, oh, really? Girl, you done got big. If Coach Jones could see you now, all this way and this and that, child, what happened to that cheerleading body? What happened to, girl, law, you done got big. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I didn't see a Jesus on Golgotha Hill. I did not. All I saw were their eye wandering. And I'm like, let's don't say anything. Don't say anything. And it looked like, I'm not kidding, looked like somebody was start to cut the grass on their head and the lawn will run out of gas, patches and everything, and telling me how big I've gotten. And why am I still in Virginia? Are uh, you still singing? You ain't do nothing with your singing. You ain't do nothing with your singing. Oh, God. That's what I'm saying, y'all. People say anything to me, to you. And I'm just like, stop. What if, I, what if I was in a mindset like, oh my God, they're right. I am a house. I blah, blah, blah. I ain't going nowhere because I'm big and blah, 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 blah. What if I was like that? What if I would have went outside and blew my head off or anything like that because of what this person said? We don't know what nobody's going through. We don't know the mental state of anybody. Keep your mouths off, people, beloved. Uplift. Encourage people. Okay. I'm big. I said, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks a lot. What, what, you Over here. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, it was ridiculous. I get that stuff on the regular. Yeah. They don't go, oh, unless you're pretty. You go, you look all right for a big girl. Mm -hmm. ain't, ain't you pig daughter? Ain't you Gwen's daughter? Oh, yeah. It's two of y'all. The light-skinned one and it was the black one. You the black one. I'm like, whoa. Okay. You have a nice day. Have a nice day. Some days I take it okay, 
Other days I'm devastated like for like 48 hours or sometimes a week. And I'm going, you know, I can't get rid of this because the prednisone and the steroids and everything they did to keep me alive turned me into this. So now I have a shell that I have to work with. And I do the best I can. You see what I'm saying? And it's just ridiculous. I, I, I admonish you guys. I admonish you guys from this moment forward to uplift someone, to say something kind. When you see them crazy memes on the internet and stuff rolling around and trolling around, laughing at people's shoes or body or hair or eye or the fact that they're a crackhead or they land on the street, or all these horrible, horrible, disgusting things. When you see these things on the internet, don't comment on it and like it or, or share it on your stuff or help make fun. That is a source of bullying as well. It, it is. So uh, I'm sorry. Oh, Terry told me, don't forget cheerleading. <laughs> you know, I'm, hey, Brenda, how you doing? I'm so sorry. I could not, um, you know, read everybody's stuff, but keep the conversation going. You know, I can't take it over anymore because I have a new situation now and I have to get there. I have 30 minutes after the show to get where I need to get every day. Um, so I just want to, uh, guys, just think about it. You know, uh, with that particular troll, the transgender young man, um, I, I don't feel no hatred or anything like that. You know, you, I, I use it as a teaching moment. You know, I didn't go, you blah, 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 blah. No, it's unnecessary. I was the adult, the, the oldest person in the situation, you know, and I don't know what the source, source of his pain was. I don't know why he felt out of 92 people to pick me to go in on. I hadn't done anything to anybody. I wasn't supposed to be in that stupid group. Somebody else put me in there. But um, I, I just admonish you guys to uplift somebody. Don't gossip and tear people down. If somebody start gossiping or talking about somebody, stop them. Girl, you should have seen her cheering, her cheering nasty and dirty and stinking. Okay, well, did you take your food stamps or your other money and bless that sister if you don't think she's going to spend it right? Take her and the kids to the store. Buy the kids a couple of outfits. Buy her an outfit. Buy a couple of steaks and some nutritionist things if you don't think she's raising the kids right. If you don't like her shoes because they turned over, buy her some more shoes. Donate your best pair. You know, things like that. Don't look down on the man unless you're picking him up. Stop being so hateful, y'all. Stop being so jealous. Stop putting your mouth on people. You know, stop looking at people and assuming you know their story. You don't know their story. You don't know their pain. You don't know their scars. My most horrid scars are in the inside. I have a lot on the outside because of the surgeries and domestic violence and everything I've gone through. You don't know my story. You don't know. There's a reason. Don't nobody want to be poor. Don't nobody want to be broke. Don't want to have busted shoes. Don't nobody want to have bad hair. Don't nobody want to be fat. Don't nobody want to do all this stuff. But there's a reason for it. And you're not taking time to learn the reason with the purpose of fixing it. So keep your mouth off, people, man. Stop trolling. Get on people's pages. If you don't like what I'm saying, what I look like, or whatever else, stay away from me. Yeah, stay away. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, Terry said he might want to be me. Okay, you getting reckless. <laughs> so I just want to admonish you guys, just show some love. I got to go and get it in. Um, just love one another. Respect one another. Have vows of mercy. And keep your mouth off, people. <laughs> Bye, y'all.